As we saw in the last video, it is very easy to extend the database with new pathways and substrate. Yet, in order to ensure quality, by also making it very easy for the community to extend the database, we also assign a curation status to the different database contents. We will see this concept with a very simple example. Let's start with creating a new peptide. As you recall, in the last video we added steak acid to the database. But if we search for it now, you will see that it's not available here. This is because the Use Curated Domains Only option has been chosen. Thus, also only contents that have been verified by a curator are available. If we uncheck it, then all contents in the database are made accessible. So, if we search for our stake acid, it's here. And then of course we can also add another monomer. Also note that by adding the 3D structure in the last step, it's available in the visualization here. If you want to also have curator status because of your expertise in the field of non-ribosoma peptide synthesis, then you can go to your profile and just request such privileges.